I really just wanted to go into 2022 with a mindset of prioritizing health and wellness. <laughs> All right guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first What I Eat in a Week of 2022. And coming into the new year, I really want to focus on prioritizing my health and wellness. I just noticed that last year, especially near the end of the year, I was just not taking care of myself as well as I should have. And it definitely started to take a toll on both my physical and my mental health. So I'm definitely committed in 2022 to prioritizing my health, wellness, self-care, all of that stuff. And for me, food and cooking is a huge part of self-care, making sure that I'm fueling my body with lots of yummy and balanced meals and that I'm also allowing myself to have my treats and my not so nutrient dense foods every once in a while. So yeah, that is the energy that I'm bringing into 2022. I hope that you guys come along on this self-care journey with me this year. I really wanna share some healthy recipes, some food inspo, so that you guys can get inspired, get creative in the kitchen, cook yourself up some yummy and nourishing food. In this video, I also wanted to share with you guys some of my pantry staples that I love to use on a plant-based diet, but I know that we're all super excited to get into the food, so I'll talk about that more later. So on Monday, I thought what better way to kick off the new year than with some pancakes So I just made some oatmeal pancakes in my blender and fried those up And then I topped those off with some stewed apples and some chia seed pudding I'll put the recipe for my chia seed pudding in the description box below And of course I had to top those off with some maple syrup and it was absolutely delicious And then after breakfast, I had to run some errands, so I decided to treat myself to a latte from Starbucks. Staring at the sea and what was left of me. And then for lunch, I decided to make up some tofu fried rice, and I've been frying my tofu in arrowroot flour. I just find that it helps make the tofu nice and crispy. So I just fried the tofu off in a pan, added some coconut aminos, rice, spring onions, some steamed veggies, and a little bit of tahini, and that was my lunch. Oh, I also added some kimchi to the side as well. When in doubt, the facade of the sea staring back at me. And then over the holidays, I got used to having hot chocolate every day, so I'm still on that kick now, but oh, there I am spilling it all over the counter, but I just made up myself a nice hot chocolate as a little afternoon treat. And then for dinner on Monday, I wanted to make up a big batch of curry to have throughout the week. So I just started by frying off some shallots, ginger, and garlic in a big pan. And then I added in some curry powder, turmeric, cinnamon, and a little bit of water just to help it kind of cook down and not stick. And then I added in some carrots, lentils, and some squash. And I also added some peanut butter to make it kind of creamy. And then at the end, I just bolted down some spinach and I just served that up with some brown rice and some sauerkraut as well. I've been trying to add either sauerkraut or kimchi to all of my meals other than breakfast just to get the probiotic benefit. And then for dessert, I just had some chia seed pudding. Don't take your spaces. So for breakfast on Tuesday, I just took some more of my stewed apples and chia seed pudding and I just had that with some walnuts on top and I've honestly been loving this breakfast. It's just super simple and super delicious. And then after breakfast, I made myself up a coffee. I've really been trying to make an effort to wait until after I've eaten breakfast to have my coffee 
There's just a lot of hormonal benefits to waiting until after you've eaten. I also just find that I feel a lot less jittery and anxious when I wait to have my coffee. So that is something that I've been doing. And then for lunch, I really didn't feel like doing that much cooking. So I just fried up some tofu on the stove and added in some leftover curry from the night before and served that up with some sauerkraut. And that was my lunch. All right, and then a little bit later on in the afternoon, I was kind of feeling like doing some baking, so I decided to make some chocolate chip cookies. I'll have the full recipe for this in the description box below. And great to have on hand throughout the week, especially because you guys know I love having a sweet treat after dinner. And of course, when they came out of the oven, I had to give them a taste test, so I had one as a snack. And this would not be a what I eat in a week without a tofu scramble. I absolutely love this as a weeknight meal. It just comes together so quick. So I fried up some of my tofu and veggies with my spices, and then I also baked up a Japanese sweet potato, served that up with my tofu scramble and some kimchi, and then I tried to do like a nice drizzle of tahini, but it didn't, it didn't really come out that good. But I just added more on top after, but that was my dinner on Tuesday. All right, so moving on to Wednesday and we're finally having oatmeal. I have a new go-to oatmeal recipe. Like normal, I'm adding flax to my oatmeal, but I've also been adding in maca powder and collagen. Maca is just a really nice adaptogenic herb. It's also great for female health. And I started adding collagen to my oatmeal just to bump up the protein. And I've just found that my energy levels are so much more stable in the morning. I'm not getting so much of the mid-morning crash that I used to. So definitely having a good source of fat, carbohydrates, and protein in my breakfast has just made a really big difference for me. for lunch I decided to make some chickpea pancakes what else is new I just added in some leftover veggies that I had from the night before and I fried those up on a pan and once those were done I just topped them off with some sauerkraut and made a really simple sauce with some sauerkraut brine and tahini and just drizzled that on top and yeah, I mean, these are just, they're so good. For dinner, I was just feeling like a bunch of roasted veggies. So I just started by gently steaming up some broccoli, carrots, and Brussels sprouts. And then I just drizzled on some olive oil and salt and pepper. And that is how I like to roast my veggies. I just gently steam them before. I just find that that's how you get the best texture. I also just marinated some tempeh and cooked that up on the stove. And then I made a really quick dressing with some mustard, maple syrup, and tahini. And it makes like 
a sweet mustard, like kind of like a honey mustard, but a maple mustard sauce. Anyway, I just put that all in a bowl with some sauerkraut and drizzled the sauce on top, and that was my dinner. All right, guys, so I did want to take a little break from the video just to talk about some pantry staples and things that I like to keep on hand so that if you're looking to do more cooking in 2022, you have some ideas of things that you might want to keep in your kitchen. If you guys are not interested in this, you guys can just skip ahead. I'll have Thursday time stamped down below, so you can just skip on ahead to that. But if you do want to stick around, I just thought I'd run through some of the things that I just use a lot of when I do my cooking, I'm gonna start off with spices and it is January right now. And in the winter, I really try to focus on using warming spices in my cooking. Right now, the ones that I'm using the most are curry powder, garlic powder, cumin, turmeric, smoked paprika, and cinnamon. And then going with spices, I also have nutritional yeast. It just basically adds a savory umami flavor to the dish so it's something that I like to keep on hand and then in terms of sweeteners you guys know I'm Canadian so I love to use maple syrup I also love to use coconut sugar as well and then in terms of sauces I usually start with a base of something like coconut aminos or tamari these are pretty similar to soy sauce coconut aminos are just a little bit Sweeter. I also love to use miso paste in my sauces as well. If I am going to use something spicy, I'll probably use something like sriracha. I'm not a huge hot sauce spicy dish person, so sriracha is about as spicy as I get. Other condiments that I love to put on top of my meals are sauerkraut and kimchi. Again, kimchi is going to be on the spicier side. So for sauces, that's kind of what I like to keep on hand. The next thing I wanted to talk talk about was nuts and seeds. I always like to keep a wide variety of nuts and seeds on hand. For nuts, I usually like to keep cashews, walnuts, and almonds on hand. And then for seeds, I really like to use flax seeds. You guys know I put these in my oatmeal every morning and I always store these in my freezer and I grind them fresh each day because you don't want the fatty acids in the seeds to oxidize. So that is why I bring them home, I store them in my freezer and then I grind them fresh every morning. And then I also love to keep hemp seeds and chia seeds on hand as well. In terms of nut and seed butters, you guys know that I'm absolutely obsessed with tahini. So I always have a big jar of tahini on hand. I also really like peanut butter as well, just keeping it basic. Sometimes I'll get almond butter, but not as much because it's a little bit more expensive than the peanut butter. And then just some other staples that I like to keep on hand in my pantry. I I love to keep lots of dried goods. So in terms of grains, I really like to keep lots of oats on hand. I also like using rice or quinoa. I do like to keep a variety of beans and lentils on hand as well. I do tend to use the lentils a little bit more just because the beans, you have to soak them for at least 12 hours before you cook them. Whereas a lot of the lentils you can just cook right away. In terms of flowers that I keep on hand, I usually use either chickpeas or almond flour or sometimes I'll just blend up my oats and make oat flour. I also like to keep arrowroot flour on hand. This isn't so much of like a flour that you would use for baking. It's very similar to cornstarch. So I like to use it to thicken up any sauces. And then in terms of other dried goods, I always like to keep some pasta on hand as well. This is just some brown rice spaghetti. And then the last thing that I wanted to talk about was kind of some miscellaneous things, maca powder and collagen. I have been adding them to my oatmeal every morning. So so I did want to include them in the video. Maca is a really nice adaptogenic herb. It's also really great for female health. So that is why I've been adding it to my oatmeal. And then the other thing is collagen. So I've just been adding this to my oatmeal in the mornings just to increase the protein content. I've been trying to make sure that I'm getting a good source of fat, carbs, and proteins in my breakfast. Definitely not essential, but just something I thought that I would include. So yeah, those are just some things that I 
like to keep in my kitchen that make cooking and meals just come together a little bit easier. Of course, I'll have everything that I've listed in the description box below. But yeah, let's get back to the food. I'm sick. And we are back and of course I'm having oatmeal again so I just cooked that up with some cinnamon and then like I said I like to grind my flax fresh every morning. So I added that to my oats along with my maca powder, a little bit of sea salt, coconut sugar for some sweetness and my collagen powder and then I topped it off with some leftover stewed apples. I also stewed up some blueberries as well and decided to add a little bit of peanut butter on top. And that was breakfast. Can't spend time alone. Give you my hoodie just so you can smell my cologne. Don't like all this distance. I want you close to missing your existence. All right, and then for lunch, I had originally planned to chop up the sweet potato and roast it in the oven, but after about 10 minutes of roasting, my oven broke. We got it fixed later in the day because I had to use it later, but I ended up having to steam my potato and then finish it off on the frying pan. I also sauteed up some tofu and warmed up some of the leftover veggies, but yeah, it was, it was kind of crazy. I also added some sauerkraut and just made another batch of my maple mustard dressing to go on top. <laughs> And then once we got the oven fixed, I decided to make up a carrot cake because it was actually my mom's birthday. And the full recipe for this cake is in another video, so I will link that. And there is me getting a shell in the egg, but I fished it out, so it was all okay. I just mixed that up, added in my carrots, walnuts, and raisins, and baked that up in the now working oven. and then because it was my mom's birthday we did a big family dinner and my dad made these vegan bean enchiladas I'm not sure exactly what are in them, but they were super delicious. And of course, I had a nice big slice of cake for dessert, and it was, it was delicious, guys. It was so good. And then on Friday, I had to leave pretty early to go to work, so I just had some more chia pudding with some stewed apples and berries. And then once I got to work, I just warmed up my lunch in my mini crock pot. So I just took some of the leftover curry and I definitely thought I had more of it, but I didn't. So I just sauteed up some tofu before I left and added some spinach and warmed that up. And that was my lunch. For dinner on Friday, I just decided to make up a big stir fry with some edamame beans and I just used tamari, peanut butter, a little bit of maple syrup for a sauce and I just served that up with some rice, my stir fry and a little bit of kimchi and that was my dinner. All right, guys, and that is everything that I ate last week. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. Also, let me know what you guys want to see more of on this channel. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe so you can come hang out with me every week. With that being said, please make sure that you're nourishing yourself, that you're taking care of yourself this week. We can't show up for others if we're not showing up for ourselves first and i'll see you guys in the next video you can't sink me.